Hello friends, welcome back. Today's project is going to be a very special organization project. I am organizing this box of photos for my mom. When I moved back, I found this box in her office with photos all over the floor and I knew that eventually I would want to organize it for her. The beauty of today's project is that I'm not only going to be organizing the photos, I'm going to be making a few select photos digital. I was born in the 80s and as you know, digital photos came about much later. I don't have a scanner. I don't know who owns a scanner anymore. But the beauty of our cell phones is that there are so many amazing apps out there that can do a job like this. I was introduced to an app called Photomine and this is the app that I'm going to be using to digitize my photos today. I am so excited to share this app with you. Not only does it scan your photo, it restores it at the same time. I honestly was blown away by what this app can do. Let me go ahead and share it with you. The first thing that you'd want to do is download Photomine from your app store. There is a free version of the app. The free version will give you a taste of what the app has to offer. Use it for basic scanning and if it suits your needs then you can go ahead and upgrade. As I open my app you'll notice I have some folders created already but I wanted to show you how to scan a photo. This is a photo of my father. There was a little bit of glare around the photo so I decided Decided to move it to a different surface and this surface worked a lot better. I'm also demonstrating the fact that you can't zoom in too close because you do lose a little bit of focus. The app does self crop, restores colors, and saves them into a digital album all at once. If by chance one of your photos has something written in the back, you can scan the back of the photo. This particular photo did not have anything written on the back, therefore I only scanned the front. There is an option to colorize black and white photos and that's what I'm going to do here. It really brought this picture to life. It was absolutely amazing and it took just a few seconds. The next thing I'm going to do is sharpen the photo and it worked its magic. The photo looks absolutely clear. You wouldn't think this was a 50 year old photo, would you? The next thing I'm going to do is add a caption underneath the picture. If I had more information about it, I could have wrote dad at 16 years old. I don't know how old my dad was in this picture, so I just wrote dad. Another cool feature is to use voice caption to capture your notes on your photo. The next thing that I'm going to do is tag my dad's face. This way, if I scan any other pictures into the app, it'll recognize that this is my dad's photo, which will help me to categorize things in the future. You can also create live portraits, and this is what blew me away. My dad is no longer with us, and this made me feel like he was smiling at me again. It takes just a few seconds. I'm showing you in real time how long it takes, but it's so realistic. My mom was actually a little freaked out by it. I, I personally loved it. So once your live portrait is created, you can save it to your camera roll or you can share it directly from the PhotoMine app to your friends and family. The next thing you can do is you can just send a postcard, send this photo with a message to any of your family members. Here I wrote, how handsome was dad? And I sent that to my mom. You can save that to your camera roll, you can email it. I actually was able to text this to my mom. The next thing you can do with PhotoMine is create an amazing family tree as you're scanning pictures in and tagging the faces of your family members. You can create your tree very, very easily. So if you're somebody who's into this, I know my husband is, you can create a family tree using this app as well. Those were some of the main features that I found fascinating about PhotoMine. As you can see, I have a couple of albums created. I created one for my mom, one for my dad, and I'm going to keep adding to that as I scan more pictures into this app. PhotoMine does have a Amazon store and they have some accessories that will make your experience using this app a lot better. There's a photo tent that helps with glare. I had a little bit of glare in the beginning and then there's a nice accessory that holds your phone. The more steady, the better. I was a little wobbly, so I'm sure that that accessory works out wonderfully. If any of you are wanting to go digital and organize your photos as well, I highly recommend this app. It's user-friendly, no scanner required. All you need is your phone and the PhotoMind app. 
I'll go ahead and note down the name of the app down below as well as any other information that PhotoMine may provide to me. Thank you PhotoMine for sponsoring this portion of today's video. We are going to continue organizing these photos. What I decided to do was use shoe boxes to organize the photos. You all know that I love shoe boxes when it comes to organization and I figured that this would be the perfect way for me to separate pictures out by individual. It would also be a nice way to store them in a closet or wherever it is that my mom wants to put them. I am giving all of these photos back to her, including my own, and when the day comes that she doesn't want them anymore, then she can just hand us our individual shoebox and we can decide if we want to put them into an album or if we want to digitize them ourselves. There were a lot of miscellaneous photos and for those photos what I did is I put them into a Ziploc bag. It just seemed like the better thing to do so there's a whole lot more organization coming. I'm going to end up labeling everything and um, scanning a few more photos. I was really digging for the photos that I wanted to scan which were of uh, my dad, my mom, and then some of my late brother. I'll talk to you a little bit about my family makeup. I come from a family of six. My mom, my dad, I'm the oldest of four siblings. Um, one of my siblings is no longer with us and that's why my voice kind of cracked a little when I said that. Um, looking through this project, it was really hard to go back and see photos of my brother. Um, he was 19 years old when he was taken away from us. My father is no longer with us as well. He passed away when I was pregnant with Ileana, so it's been 10 years now. These are stories that I have not shared on my channel, and one day I will, but this project was really hard for those reasons. I got to see their faces and their smiles and just, you know, happier times when our family was complete. So um, I did not take this project lightly. It was difficult and um, I actually left this project feeling sad. It really... It really did make me feel sad after I was done with it. And these are two situations that I kind of alluded to in the past when I talked about sad situations that contributed to my closet. <laughs> I kind of alluded to, to that in, in that video when I cleaned out my master closet in Arizona. So now you have a, a little bit of insight on what I was talking about. I don't know where she came from. Kinda turn me upside down. I just don't know what to do. I wanna spend the night at hers and bring her one of my t shirts so it smells like her perfume. Now I really get what the love songs are talking about. And I just wanna tell her how I feel, scream it out loud. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile, then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. There's something about the way she laughs. I found a lot of pictures that I had been wanting to share with Mikey and Ileana. And I always tell them the story about my teeth. My teeth grew in terribly when I was younger. I did wear braces for several years in middle school and high school. And so I wanted to show them the before of how my teeth looked. And I finally had that opportunity to show them what they look like. I live in a border city, so my mom took me to Mexico to get my braces done. And whenever I lost my retainer, I just did not want to go back to Mexico to get a, a new one. And that's because at around that time, there was just um, a ton of killing of young women in Juarez, Mexico. They were about my age and I just did not want to go over there. As a matter of fact, to this day, I still do not step across the border. When I was growing up, um, a lot of my friends used to go across the border and would party and drink because the drinking age on the other side was 18 I believe. I personally never did that. I was a good girl. I stayed safe. I wouldn't even go back for my retainer. You make me nervous. I think I might be hooked on you. Said to me, to me, it seems 
I mentioned in my community tab post that Mikey was going to be having an eye surgery, so let me go ahead and update you with that. Mikey had what looked like a sty on his eyelid, but he had that there for months, and I started feeling like something wasn't right. A sty shouldn't last that long. So I ended up making him an appointment with the eye doctor. I took him in and sure enough, it was not just a sty. He had a chalazion. So with the chalazion, they can do heat treatments. We tried that first. They did about three heat treatments on him to see if it would soften up and dissolve. Well, they did not work. So after that, you have to have surgery on the eyelid and it was underneath his eyelid. So pretty much what they had to do was flip his eyelid and then they cut into the chalazion so that it could release whatever was in there. I can describe it as maybe pus. It almost looked like if they were popping a pimple, <laughs> which I love watching Dr. Pimple Popper, but I loved watching it, but Mikey was definitely uncomfortable and I was able to hold his hand throughout the procedure. So I'm hoping that that comforted him just a little bit. So I'm really glad that that's over and that he is on the road to recovery. Always trust your gut instinct. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby From this angle, it looks like I have not made any progress and the truth is is that I have made a ton of progress I'm gonna keep working this project um, did take me a couple of hours to do but as you can see the box is almost empty yeah you you take on my wrongs and make them better yeah you you're making me want to try forever and I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby And I think to myself And I'm thinking out loud And that little baby down there is me <laughs> I was such a cute baby It's really funny because Mikey and Ileana Totally resemble that little baby right there all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby Yeah, you, you 
take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. I feel so free, oh my sweet baby. So I did it. I emptied the box out, and that was such a great feeling. Um, it's amazing how many photos can fit in a box and just how heavy they are. At the beginning of this video, I was holding the box up in the air alone. I'm pretty sure you can read my lips and I said it's heavy. It was so heavy. I'm going to continue separating photos out. The photos that I'm going to be working on now are the ones that are at the front of the table. Um, those photos did not fit into any of the categories in the shoe bins. So these are just more like miscellaneous photos of church friends. Um, there's a family vacation there. The only family vacation that I remember as taking. And there was a photo there that I had been looking for and that I had wanted to show to Ileana. And it was when I was about 15 years old and we went to visit Selena's grave. Selena was the Tex-Mex singer that was shot when she was very young and she became really famous after that. So I have a picture of myself at her grave. I'm pretty sure that her grave doesn't even look like this anymore. That was over 25 years ago that I was there, but I'll go ahead and insert a picture. Last week I mentioned that I took a Skillshare class in regards to organizing. One of the things that I learned from that class is that you should never do paper organization projects first if you have other organization projects to work on. The reason for this is because these types of projects are so time consuming. When I was back in Arizona, I hadn't taken this class and I was just kind of going with my gut feeling on what it is I wanted to do when it came to decluttering. And when I came across my boxes of paperwork, it was something that I was not going to look through at the time. I didn't have the patience for it. I knew it was going to take a long time, so I just left it for last. And to this day, those boxes are in my garage. I feel like I'll go through them once I'm settled and once I've gotten rid of a lot of the other boxes that I really need to get unpacked. I feel like this photo project is one of those projects that is something that can be extremely time consuming because you literally have to look through each photo. I looked through each of these photos um, and it was frustrating. It was time consuming. It was a little stressful. It was also something that invaded my emotions. Let me know down below in the comments if any of you have a project like this that you need to get done. stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of i wonder like me a little bit scared of heights why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside it really makes me wonder Could it be? 
Until winter comes, until winter comes, it really makes me wonder. The Ziploc bags are coming out. <laughs> so I have everything separated now. And what I'm going to do after this is get everything labeled. I thought about writing on the Ziploc bag with a Sharpie. But then my husband reminded me that we have our nice label machines. So I took the label machines out and I labeled the Ziplocs and I also labeled our shoe bins. I did take a trip to Dollar Tree to see if I can find some more of the shoe bins, but they were all out. So I have to go to a different Dollar Tree, which is further down the road, but I have not had a chance to do that with Mikey having his surgery. And then, I don't know, I just feel like there's always something coming up in mom world. <laughs> I always have something to do, somewhere to go, someone to meet, and so sometimes I have to put um, things that I need to do on the back burner. As a matter of fact, as I record this voiceover, it is 3 a.m. My husband is sleeping on the couch because he knows that I need to work on this, and so if I sound like I am lowering my voice a bit, that is why everybody is asleep. Everything is separated out now. I found this bag of glasses and I want to say these are my dad's, but I'm not sure. It was a little creepy. It kind of reminded me of Dahmer just because of the style of glasses, but I'll leave that there. <laughs> and so here's everything separated out. I went ahead and put my little brother's stuff into the wire um, bin that you see there. And these photo frames are broken, but I need to be very careful with the way that I throw them out because I don't want anybody to get cut. These are photos that I want to scan, and then these are all of the bags uh, that I separated out. I'm going to be putting Eric's photos into a Ziploc bag as well until I get him a shoe bin. Eric is my brother. My name is Erica, and his name is Eric. <laughs> I think that's kind of cute, but um, I'm going to go ahead and get these labeled, and then we will be close to the end of our project. One thing that I was kind of tripping out on is that my mom had some schoolwork um, <laughs> in this box from when she was in elementary, I believe. And I was really just tripping out because I had never seen those before. We are now getting close to the end of the video. Make sure to watch to the end because I did scan a couple of photos using the PhotoMind app and I'm so glad that I did because now they are memories that I have digital on my phone forever. Be sure to check out this app in your app store. It is free to start and then you can decide if you want to upgrade to use all of the, the really cool features that really do make a difference in your photos. PhotoMine is giving the first 100 viewers that use my code a free week of PhotoMine. If you are needing to work on a difficult project like this but it's something that you haven't done because of various reasons reasons, maybe you don't have the time or the strength or you just don't know how to go about it, then PhotoMine is definitely your solution. So I hope that you all have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.